In this point-wise demonstration, I'm going to key in on some of the tools used to generate this high-quality multi-block structured mesh for a single blade passage of this axial rotor geometry. A couple of the key features I used were the normal hyperbolic extrusion tool to generate the boundary layer for the blade and the elliptic solver to smooth out the surface mesh. So let's get started. The first key feature I'd like to demonstrate is Pointwise's normal hyperbolic extrusion tool. So I'll select the surface mesh of the blade, enter the extrusion tool, set up the boundary conditions such that the boundaries of the extrusion are constrained to the hub and the shroud geometry. Set up the boundary layer parameters. and run the extrusion. So as you can see this tool allows you to quickly create a high quality boundary layer by extruding layers of cells off the surface of the blade. The last key feature I'd like to demonstrate is Pointwise's elliptic solver. So I'll come in here and select a few of the surface meshes, enter the solver, and run. As you can see, the elliptic solver enforces orthogonality and smooths out the interior of the mesh by allowing grid lines to float. This operation tends to increase the quality of the cells in the mesh, especially in areas around the leading and trailing edge of this blade. So if we come in and zoom around the leading edge of the blade, we can undo and see what it looks like before the elliptic solver was used and after the elliptic solver was used. Come and look at the trailing edge, you can see before and after the elliptic solver was used.